Greetings, Switch Mammals, Wells of Gore here, and welcome yeah. back to The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. And we are on the search for the Peller's Goat, and we are using a little dingling bell in order to find it. So, uh, we have to go into our inventory. Oh, that hit right bumper. Uh, no, I don't want to use oils. Alright, fine, I'll do the little tutorial. Okay, cool. Uh, quest item. Where is my bell? Oh, wait, I have to read all of these. Oh, I'm... I'm a smarty smart. Alright, so what, do I just hit right bumper for it? Then? Okay, I do. Yeah, that's not good. Goat defeats east. I bet the goat's dead. This way, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go towards the wolves. Oh, I hear the goat. Goaty goat, I hear you. Wait for me. Come there here. you are. Princess. Hey, come on. Come on, let's go see the peller. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Uh, okay, so that's what it is. Take you back to the pillar. Misses you something awful. Come here. No. Oi. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, what? damn it. <laughs> I'm with you there, Geralt. Come on. Damn goat. Oi! Where the hell'd you go? Oi! Dumbass, come here. Hey. Bear. Bear. Oh shit. Run, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that's a big ass bear. Eh. <laughs> Back off. Back off. Ow, you hurt me. Let me loot. Thank you. Alright, you goat. 
At least you're smart enough not to get in the way. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Honeysuckle. Come on. I swear to Christ, if you peel off again, I'm just gonna leave you there. Come on. Come on, you wee goat. Shut You're up. No roach. I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. <laughs> Oi. Found your fucking goat. <laughs> Come here. Princess. Flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. And a bear. You can't you can't forget about the bear. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> it is cute, not gonna lie. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Oh, that bear I just killed. That work. Will this do? I assume. I feel bad for this rat, man. Forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Y'all all know y'all know this happened. Anna, tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. The princess came oh, God damn it. Hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help, lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. 
It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. Hmm. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die. Their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Alright, so, uh... Oh, then I guess I can use him as kind of like an alchemy guy now, too. Cool, alright, so, uh... Well, back to the Lord. Hey there. Oi. What the fuck? What? Ah. Marin. If I want to pass the peasant lass, I will. Don't give cock back no back. Oh, and now the bridge isn't out. All right. Well, well, I'm glad I drank that last apple juice. Oh shit. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Not good, not good, not good. From pill full, tottering about again. How you doing? Oh, there we go. Oswing! Where's Oswing? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Supposed to use a horse? Come here. No. <laughs> Open up, damn it. Open the main gate. Yeah, how do I do that? Oh, it never said open. That was weird. Ha 
<laughs> With a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Oh shit. Awesome. Ow! Fuck! They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Ow. <laughs> Damn it. Shit. Play it safe. Play it safe. Shit. Whew. Whoo. Bah. Bah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> Time to end this. Well, that went smashing. Get it? Because I smashed his face in? Get it? No? no? Okay. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Hmm. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place. Ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they'd run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Uh, you didn't... Ooh. Ooh. Mm hmm. I don't know what to choose here because I don't want to sound like a dick. I can ask. I'll go. I think I have God to ask all of them anyway. I do think you're a prick, not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. It really was. All right. I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. 
She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Let me explain. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Huh. <laughs> the sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Was it like a snail? Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. <laughs> Gotta fucking slap it in the fucking face! I don't know. A bit further. Follow me. You 
give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Look. God, that's disgusting. Oh, uh, uh. Turn the botching to a lumberkin. And if it goes garrity, it'll bite us in the ass before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Little deal. What happens when it gets plowing and restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll comb it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Pick up the little mongrel, damn it. Merciful gods. Okay, what what do, what do I do? Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shows a lovely. Damn it. Good. The graves dug up. What's. Kill it! Get back. I don't care how fucking weak you look. You're evil! Oh shit. Wait, either way, I have to fight it? Oh, God. Okay. What? Extra nerve? Well, I know what you're weak to this time. As long as no wraiths pop up, I'll be fine. Wow, that was a waste. Shut up. Be gone! Come on. Foul demon! The power of Christ compels you!
and this fight is over or not. Now it is. Oh. Bloody hell. You killed my child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you. Not kill it. I couldn't do anything else. Do anything stupid and I'll kill you too. Go plow yourself. Oi. Kill me if you must. I've nothing to live for anyway. You've got another daughter and a wife, and the botchling's blood will help me find them. What? What will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Sorry, bro. Sorry that I killed your kid, but... I literally tried it two other ways with saving him and it didn't work. So, uh, yeah. Okay, and that's where we're going to end off this episode. This took me a while to record. Like, what I was saying, I was like, okay, yeah, you know, it'll take like 30 minutes or something like that. But no, it took me like a good hour and a half to just get this fight done. <laughs> or not just the fight, but just this whole episode. So I hope that you guys did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!